Have you ever used a cross-chain bridge on a different blockchain? If so, you know how transferring coins between blockchains can be complex and time-consuming. However, Cosmos is different because it focuses on interoperability. Today, I'll quickly explain what Cosmos is, show you how to explore its growing ecosystem, including bridging bonds over from Ethereum to Cosmos, and also I'll be showing you step-by-step -step of how to set up your Kepler wallet. If you find this type of content interesting, great. Press the like button to let me know so that I'll know you enjoyed it and I'll be sure to make more similar content like this in the future. So with that out of the way, let's just get started. First of all, what is the big deal with Cosmos anyway? Well, it offers a pretty cool twist on the usual layer one blockchains out there. Most layer one are all about expanding the networks to cover a bunch of things like NFTs, DeFi and dApps, but that leads to another problem, network congestion. Now, here's where Cosmos does something completely different. Instead of obsessing over its own blockchain, Cosmos is building what they call an application-specific blockchain game. So what does that mean anyway? Think of it like a one-job superhero, and I mean it, because each of these blockchains is dedicated to running a single application. So instead of one massive blockchain juggling all the apps and transactions, each little blockchain handles its own thing. And this is extremely smart because it lets developers to fine tune these apps specific blockchains for better control and performance. Think of Cosmos as a playground for creating new blockchains. They've got this toolkit for developers to build their own pieces and this network of blockchains can talk to each other in a decentralized manner. So that's the basic info of Cosmos. I'm sure by now you'll be eager to try out the Cosmos ecosystems yourself. Great, because I'm gonna teach you how to set up your own Kepler wallet. If this is your first time heard of Kepler wallet, it's fine. It's like, think of it like the MetaMask of Cosmos, basically. To download it, you will have to go to kepler.app slash download. Of course, the link could be found in the description box below. I'm using Google Chrome myself, so I'm gonna click Chrome, but it works for Brave browser as well. Click Add to Chrome. The process is it's almost the same as how you download the MetaMask, but I'm still gonna show you, of course. Once you're on the main page, click create a new wallet. I'm creating a brand new wallet for the sake of demonstration, but if you have other wallets and uh, you want to import it, now is the time to do it. Right now is the part that you will have to take out your pen and paper to write down your seed phrase. Click I understood and write down seed phrase. Well, I'm only gonna do it for 12 words, but if you want extra security, you could always go with 24 words. Remember, don't ever show your 12 words or 24 words to anyone because anyone with this magical word, they can asset to your money. I have no problem showing you guys because this is only for the video demonstration and I won't be using this wallet myself. Once you've written it down, click next. And of course, you have to put down the wallet in that exact sequence. So the second word of my password is Latin. Wallet name, I'm just gonna put um, Gem Gem Crypto. Set up your own password and you are almost done. For here, you will see all these chains that have been utilizing the Cosmos ecosystem. Well, for this demonstration, I'll be using Osmosis and also Cosmos Hub and um, the Gravity Bridge for bridging my funds over. So I'll select these three chains. However, if there are any other chains that you'll need to select, you can go ahead and do it now or we could do it later too. So right now I'm just gonna click these three chains and hit save. So voila, your account has been created. You'll be able to see it on the top right corner. Once you've got your Kepler wallet set up, I'll also be showing you how to transfer either from Ethereum to your um, new newly created Kepler wallet. To do this, I'll be utilizing the Gravity Bridge Porto. Of course, all links can be found in the description box below. 
Once you're here, you would like to connect both your MetaMask and also your Kepler wallet. So click connect to your MetaMask. As you can see, it's not my first time doing so, so I wouldn't have to sign the sign on my MetaMask again. And hit connect to your Kepler. Click Kepler. Go down to select your desired token. Well, I only have Ethereum in my MetaMask account. So if you have other stable coins like USDC, USDT or DAI or even wrapped ETH, you could do so. However, one extra step for me is that I'll have to swap ETH to wrap ETH first. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to put 0.01 ETH and hit swap. So I waited about a minute before getting this confirmation. Hit confirm. So it has been swapped successfully to wrapped BTC. If you go back up to MetaMask, if you go to tokens, that's what I've got. I've got wrapped BTC 0.01 ETH. Once you've done that, you're ready to transfer some of your wrapped ETH into the Cosmos ecosystem. So click wrapped ETH and I have 0.01. That's what I'm going to do. When you're ready, give permission to transfer ETH confirm in your MetaMask. Click max because that's the amount we wish to transfer. Approve the transaction and wait for a few seconds too. All right, you're now ready to begin the transfer. Click approve transfer. So it said transaction has been completed. Let's go to transaction to look at the history. So ignore this one because this is my previous old transaction. This is the one we just did. So right now, the fund is still being transferred from Ethereum to Gravity Bridge. The process takes like 10 minutes, so I'm gonna catch you guys in a bit. A few moments later. So all right, after I've been waiting for like 15 to 20 minutes, I finally got my 0.01 uh, wrapped ETH. If you go back to your Kepler wallet, um, that is the balance. It's not on osmosis yet because we only utilize the gravity bridge. So you're ready to do some trading on osmosis. Connect your wallet. Again, um, click Kepler wallet. Once you've connected your Kepler wallet on the top right corner, as you can see, they're wrapped ETH on um, different chains. And I would like to send it to osmosis. So click osmosis and I'm gonna hit max. Once you OK, hit next. And it should be really quick because it's the um, Cosmos ecosystem. So I waited definitely less than one minute for my wrap ETH to be appear on the Osmosis chain. And that's the balance I have by 0.0115 ETH. So here's what I want to do. I would like to go to Osmosis now and swap from my wrap ETH to uh, osmosis, just gonna do half here. I'm gonna hit swap. I'll pay in wrapped ETC because I haven't got any osmosis yet. So I'm gonna hit approve. The transaction has been successful, literally, it's just like a few seconds. So that's the osmosis I've got. So there you go, you have officially bought some osmosis. And uh, a fun fact about osmosis because the team seems to be very pro decentralization and they don't want the Osmos token to be launched on so many centralized exchanges. So if you want to get Osmo, you, the easiest way is definitely to go to Osmosis and swap a little bit of tokens there. So for the next part of the video, I'll also be showing you how to stick your Atom token. I'll assume that you already sent some Atom token over to your Kepler wallet, Otherwise, you could go to exchanges to buy a little bit and then send it to the Cosmos ecosystem. Anyways, you would like to go to the dashboard page of the, the wallet. Go to the sticking tab and since I have 0. Point, uh, I mean, since I have 2.4 Atom that I want to stick, hit stick. And if you scroll down, you have all these validators that you could choose from. And well, choosing the right validator can be an other video. So I'm not gonna to go too in depth in here. Basically in this video, I'll only be looking at the commission because I only want to show you guys the step of how to do it. So Coinbase custody charge 20% commission. I'm gonna say goodbye to Coinbase because the commission that they are charging is way too high. And I'm gonna to go with the 
second option with only 1.9% commission. So I'm gonna select this SG1 and here they have a kind reminder because SG1 is the second largest validator on the Cosmos ecosystem. So if you want to go with, you know, more decentralized option, then I'll recommend you to go with other validators. But for this demonstration, I'm just gonna hit continue to, to stick. I'm gonna stick two Atom worth about $14. Once you AK, hit stick. Approve. All right, so I'm officially sticking my Atom on the Cosmos Hub. But one thing you need to be noted is that uh, I can't withdraw immediately. I have to wait like um, 21 days. So if I unstick, you will see this, it will take 21 days for your amount to be liquid. So that's just a kind reminder. This is not a huge deal, but just know that your money will, you know, you have to wait 21 days to, to get your money back. So that's all for today's Cosmo tutorial. If you like what you saw, do give me a like and subscribe to the channel. If you're interested in checking out more Cosmos projects, great, watch this video right here. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram for more regular updates and I'll see you guys next time.